good morning so today i am doing an update vlog of what's going on with my life and as well as i'm going to share my review about this sony zv e10 camera anyway i need to wake up <laughs> on with this story So the first thing I want to share with you all, it's not this bathroom. It's because now I have a lightweight camera of Sony ZV-E10. I'm allowed to travel to different places to just do a vlog like that. And since I need to brush my teeth, might as well just bring you all in to check out this acoustic and also this environment that I'm in to do a vlog. Maybe I'll do more bathroom vlog slash singing. I don't know. We'll see. But let me brush my teeth. I know you want to smell my breath after I clean my teeth. So let's go. Now I'm in my kitchen. Oh, have you watched my previous video of me unboxing Keto Crate with this Sony ZV-E10 camera? Uh, if you have watched that, you notice the Sony ZV-E10 has its own smooth skin feature that makes your skin very flawless. But when I was turning it on high, like last video, I felt it was too filtery, like I was missing my eyebrows. So today, I just turned it on low so I can still have a little bit of eyebrows and also uh, you'll probably see more wrinkles on my face. And uh, why am I here in my kitchen? All oh, right, I need coffee. Did you see the product display feature that Sony ZV-10 was doing with my cup? It's so good, but when I was doing my intro of the previous video that I did with the Keto Crate, you notice in the beginning when my sister and I were trying to do the intro and it was all blurry because Keto Box was in front of the camera, that was a problem. Although I enjoy with the, the product display feature, I just need to be mindful to turn it off when I'm trying to do an intro like right now oh you're here um i'm so used to you be on the other side of the camera but now because with this sony zv e10 it's lightweight and small so i can actually put it anywhere i want so i can set up my shot differently and especially i enjoy this flip screen that i can see myself while i'm filming so it was much easier to set up the shot compared to before i had my canon 5d i have to plug into my big screen in order to see myself and it was such a hassle so sony zv e10 was definitely a great investment for vlogging and also you get to see the other side of my wall. Did you like it? Please leave in the comments. So there's pros, then there's cons, right? One thing about this camera is I get to shoot in 4K, which is a good thing, but because I'm shooting in 4K, it takes a lot of space. It takes a lot of power for my computer to run, to render and to save up, you know, I need more space to save up my files. So before the creative even coming in, it's taking a lot of time for me to actually get the whole entire video into my system. That's the one thing I'm not sure about at this point. Besides that, the battery life. The battery life is very short because you're shooting in 4K. So, you know, you need to bring more than two packs of batteries. They say you can actually bring a power bank when you just go travel so they can charge but you know you're carrying a power power bank that's going to add more weight so it's not as easy to travel so that's something that i am still thinking about what to do if i'm 
traveling to do a travel food vlog, right? And that's it for all the camera review. Next, we're going on with my life update. Yo, would you like to say something? You're almost in all my videos on Instagram anyway. Do you want to say something? Nope. Well, let's do some life updates right now. Um, first, I got a new job, which takes a lot of my time to still do a vlog. That's why it's taking a little bit longer time for me to progress and to actually get the videos out. Uh, other than that, number two, I am now using Premiere Pro for editing rather than Final Cut Pro 10. It's because I switch from Macintosh to PC. And the reason why I'm doing the switch is because I used to use my Hackintosh, which I built my Macintosh using PCs, but they stopped working. Apple stopped working with Nvidia, which was my graphic card. And it was harder for me to actually update. I was stuck at higher Sierra OS system, if you know what I mean. Um, and I couldn't update anything, so I thought, hey, might as well just update to PC and just use it as a PC with Windows 10, and I will solve all this problem, which it did, but it's harder for me to edit videos now because I have no idea where all this stuff are and if you know some tricks and tips please leave in the comments I love to check out videos uh, I don't know uh, dummy books or whatever that help me to edit quicker uh, or it's just a learning curve that I have to overcome right uh, other than that uh, I don't know what else I wanted to do uh, <laughs> Video. Uh, do people did mention about you know doing vlogs and I am thinking about doing food vlogs so stay tuned peace